Happy Monday, Pirates. A few weeks ago, you took the pre-ACT, and as promised, today you are going to be receiving your results. They look like this. Each student is going to get a copy of your results. It's a breakdown of all of the different subtests and how you did on each one, as well as the booklet. And inside of this folder with your results, is each of the questions that you got right or you got wrong so you can use your booklet to reference back to see maybe where you were confused about. And so this is really important. You're going to take a few minutes watching this PowerPoint presentation to figure out how you can use your ATC scores and these results to make sure that you are prepared for next year when you take the real ACT. All 11th grade students in the state of North Carolina are required to take the ACT each spring. You are going to use the results that you receive in order to prepare for the test next year to make sure that you're ready to do the best possible job that you can do. So you may be wondering, why is it important to do the best possible job on the ACT? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The ACT test is accepted by all major four-year universities. If you have a low GPA in high school, you can make up for it by doing really well on the ACT. It also boosts your scholarships and your grant opportunities, and that decreases the cost of college. And most importantly, the ACT only tests students on knowledge you should have already gained throughout your educational career. We have a ton of new resources in order to help you prepare for the ACT next year. You already have accounts through Ready, Set, Onslow. You access that Ready, Set, Onslow through your Clever account. That's the same link as your Flex Time, how you sign up for your Refresh classes. You'll select and prepare for the entrance exam and then ACT prep. If you had to pay to take that, it would actually cost around $400. And it's something that Swansboro High School provi provides for you for free. So we would love to see you take advantage of that account that you already have access to. If I were you, I would maybe spend an hour a week over the next year looking at this, taking those practice questions in order for it to translate to you doing better on the ACT. The second resource is ACT Academy Online Prep. Um, you see the link there for it as well. We'll show you on the next screen what that looks like. That's just a practice website where you can go in and practice questions. And then your ACT booklet. We're giving you your pre-ACT scores and the booklet. And I would use that to look at what were the questions that you got slipped up on where are the areas that you need to practice so you're ready for the actual test next year? When you log into your Clever account and you go to the Ready, Set, Onslow, the ACT prep, this is what the screens are going to look like for you. You'll see there you're going to select Prepare for Entrance Exams, and then you're going to select ACT courses. You'll see there's also SAT, so if you decide to take the SAT, as a junior or a senior, there's also free prep materials there. If you ordered these books or participated in an online program that you accessed, you'd have to pay. And these are programs that we have already provided for you for free. So make sure you're taking advantage of these. This is just a screenshot for you of what that ACT prep website looks like. You can see it's just you can log right in, you can create an account, and you can go in and practice at any time. Now is the time when you should also be thinking about your GPA and your ACT scores and what you need to get into your dream college. Well, we have a really cool college prep resource that allows you to enter your current GPA and your ACT scores to see what colleges you are currently eligible to attend. So we'll take a look at that website on the next screen. This College Simply website is a great resource for you to spend a few minutes playing with to see what colleges in North Carolina or anywhere in the country that you would be eligible to attend based on your ACT scores and your GPA. So I'm going to enter that I have a composite score of a 24 and we'll see where I'm eligible to go in North Carolina. 
So based on the information that I entered, you'll see the schools that I'm eligible to attend, including ECU, App State, UNC Charlotte, Western, UNCW, and even Campbell, which is a private school. So this is a handy little resource for you all to play with, putting in what you anticipate your GPA to be, combined with that pre-ACT score, and how you think that you could actually score on the ACT once, once you become an 11th grader, to see where your goals should be for the schools that you already know that you're going to want to apply to. So take a few minutes after this video and play around with it and see where you'd like to go to school and what kind of scores you need, guys.